Southampton have just beaten Wolverhampton Wanderers by two goals to nil at the Molyneux. Uh, with the goals coming from Danny Ings and Stuart Armstrong. <laughs> or a good start. <laughs> Already forgotten who scored. Um, the first half was uh, very dull, to be honest. Uh, not a lot happened. Southampton had a few half chances. Wolves created absolutely nothing. Uh, Fabio Silva just looked absolutely lost for Wolves up front. Uh, the, the only ch real chance for Southampton was uh, Danny Ings performed a superb flick over uh, Wolves defender and uh, he had a sort of a scissor kick, Paolo Di Canio-esque um, shot, uh, but it, it was blocked by the defender. And in the second half, um, Wolves had to bring off Johnny Otto. I, I don't know if it was an injury or they're saving him for the weekend or whatever. And they uh, brought on Rayan Aitnori, who's a young French fullback, I believe. I think he's French. Um, and Southampton started off the second half very lively. Um, Stuart Armstrong missed a near open goal really if we're being honest and um, he definitely should have scored nine times out of ten he probably does score that and then straight after uh, Danny Ings was played through on goal uh, by Ryan Bertrand I think it was and he had a shot it was a bit of a poor effort for his standards he went straight at Ruddy bounced off Ruddy and uh, bounced off Danny Ings' shin and then went in he knew absolutely nothing about it until it crossed the line uh, and at first it was uh, ruled out for offside but uh, thankfully VAR overruled it. VAR, VAR was actually uh, really good tonight in two two circumstances. It's very rare you say that isn't it? Um, the, se the second one being in the last minute uh, Southampton got given a penalty. Uh, I think uh, Teller got uh, fouled by Jaime Tinio and it it was just outside the box it's one of them uh, where the ref it's hard for the ref to tell and it, it was just outside the box I thought John Moss had a good game as well as referee he got uh, pretty much most of the decisions right and then the what happened uh W w w Wolves just didn't create anything in like the, f the full game really I, I think they had one shot on target all game and it came from uh, across down the left hand side Mohamed Salasu uh, sort of miskicked it and it fell to Adama Traore he didn't get the best contact on, a, on it and uh, Fraser Forster saved it on the line with his foot and then in the last minute, the second goal came. Uh, I, the, it was a poor pass from Den Donker to John Ruddy. John Ruddy, even worse, he did a bit of an Allison on Sunday, and gave it straight to uh, Teller. Teller, I'm not sure what Teller's first name is, but he came on as a sub, and he, he looked lively, lively when he came on. It was good pressing by him. He won the ball back, passed it to Stuart Armstrong, uh, and. Unlike his first effort, this was uh, exquisite, to use the correct term. Uh, he placed it just inside the bottom corner off the post. Uh, Romain Saiz or uh, Ruben Navas couldn't quite get there to block it. And that that means uh, seven of the teams in the quarterfinal have now been decided. The only other game is uh, Chelsea Barnsley. Uh, which I'll watch now. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to make a video on that. I mean, I, I, I don't even know half the Barnsley players. Uh, I don't really watch much uh, EFL football, just Premier League, really, and Champions League, FA Cup, that sort of thing. And uh, Wolves, even with uh, Willian and Jose up front in the last uh, 20 minutes or so, they still looked very lackluster up front. Um, just it, it, I don't know what it is about Raul Jimenez that uh, they seem to be really missing but they're clearly missing something because uh, they, they didn't have a horrendous start to the season and now they can't uh, win a game for love and money and uh, 
I don't know when uh, Jimenez is going to be back, but uh, for Wolves' sake, uh, they better hope it'll be soon. And even Wolves' defending today was uh, really poor. It was just so easy for players like uh, Ryan Bertrand and uh, James Ward-Price, Stuart Armstrong, Nathan Redmond, just uh, Fred, Frules, Fred, Frules, Fred Balls through to uh, the front men, uh, Danny Ings and, well, Nathan Randman's, I just see he's just playing it free to himself. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Um, but Southampton did play very well in, in fairness to them. They they needed a win after the form they've had recently. I, I don't think they've been particularly poor recently. Uh, I just think the results haven't been coming to them, have they? I mean, it's not every day you lose 9 0, but it is every year for Southampton. <laughs> uh, expect better jokes from now on um, and for Southampton now uh, they've got Wolves coming up again uh, at the weekend I think uh, and so hopefully they'll for them they'll win that game I'm not a Southampton fan then again I'm a Liverpool fan so I mean half our players from Southampton really aren't they Nathaniel Klein, Lambert, Lallana, Lovren, Mane, Van Dijk even Oxlade Chamberlain started his career at Southampton. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.